Hi everyone, in this video we're going to do a set theory proof. So we have two sets, A and B. We're going to prove that if A union B is the empty set, then A is empty or B is empty. So proof. So normally to prove something like this, you assume uh, that this is true, and then you show that this is true. What we're going to do what's called a proof by contrapositive. So we're going to assume that this is not true, and then we're going to show that this is not true. So we'll start by supposing that this is not true. So what does it mean for this not to be true? Well, the negation of the statement is that A is not empty and B is non-empty. So that is the negation of that statement. So now we have to show that this is not true. Well, if A is not empty and B is not empty, then that means there exists uh, some element x and a, and there exists some element y and b. I probably should say there exists. Good stuff. And so note that this means that x is an a, which is a subset of a union b. So x is an a union b. And that basically means that A union B is non-empty. So we didn't even need to use um, the other condition. We didn't need to use this. Let's just go over that again because I did that pretty quickly. So we assume that this was not true. So that means that A is not empty and B is not empty. And what does that mean? That means you have an element in A and an element in B. And then an element in A is enough um, because if you have an element in A, a is a subset of the union, so the element is also in the union, so the union is not empty. We could have done the same exact argument with y, right? I could have said y is in b, which is a subset of a union b, therefore y is in a union b, therefore a union b is not empty. So that completes the proof. We showed that if this is not true, then this is not true. That's equivalent to proving the original statement. So I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.